A wild new alternative rock tour kicked off in Phoenix, Arizona on Thursday night. It's a multi-act package called the Lollapalooza Tour, and it features Jane's Addiction, along with such opening acts as Living Color, Ice-T, Susie and the Banshees, and the Butthole Surfers. Our man Dave Kendall was on hand for the Phoenix opener, and here's a quick preview. Okay. All right. It's 109 degrees and the excitement is running high here at the opening date of Lollapalooza, a traveling carnival of music, information and art. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think they surpassed them. From what I can tell now, it's kind of like, um, kind of like the whole country's involved. <laughs> it just started out, I wanted to keep it kind of low-key because um, I thought alternative music was a shoe-in to keep it kind of alternative, but it seems like maybe people are so f***ing bored with the mainstream. Maybe it's time has come, you know? Something, some kind of egg's about to crack, I think. How did you decide on the lineup, you know, which band to play? Are they all personal favorites of yours, or how did that Yeah, I put together uh, one, about a hundred, a list of a hundred people, and then I said, may the best manager win. And there you have it. Uh, we heard about it uh, maybe four or five months ago, and I guess it was kind of off the Jane's addiction he was going to be on the tour. I mean, we've always been fans of theirs. Played a couple shows in L.A. with them, and, um, I was just flattered to be asked to be part of something that could be pretty cool. So. We heard about this. They've been planning this for about seven months now, seven, eight months now. And so we heard about this in actually like December. And first we were thinking about it and we were like, eh, we don't know. And then we saw who else was going to be on the bill and we were like, yeah, we can do this. Last year we uh, changed over agents to uh, Mark Geiger at Triad. And he suggested it about a year ago that we should go on some sort of package. And we said, uh, <laughs> we, won't, we wouldn't do a sort of all English package, but we might consider something else. And then about six months ago, the offer came through and we thought it sounded like a good idea. I don't know how we weaseled into it. We like uh, went up to the offices at tri Triad uh, Agency, booking agency, and somehow we hit a couple of people and they finally said, yeah, we could be on it. I, I, I worked with Perry on one of his songs in his long form video and uh, that's how I met him and me and him became real cool friends and I told him a little stuff I was doing in business and stuff and he liked it and we were hanging out and then um, when they asked him about doing a tour they said let's take a rapper out and I think he said let's take Ice because me and him have been friends and um, first a lot of eyebrows got raised oh I'm gonna take a rapper out on the tour but then it was like some people did that and other people were like cool like that so uh we're here, you know, we're real happy to be here. It's real cool, man, we're having a great day, man. It is so hot out in Arizona. I tell you, I'm from New York, man, and it's so hot, it's gotta be 122 out here, right? It's gotta be 122, because it's so hot. So, uh, what do you think about this part of the idea? It's great, it's great, I love it. One more time without the F word, darling. It's great, I love it, it's hot. What, what about um, just the opening show here? I mean, it's been really hot here, you know, like 112 degrees. Are you guys... Well, it was my room? plan to get all the opening acts, like, completely heat prostration, and then we come in and clean up. It's hotter than hell outside. How did you prepare for that? How did I prepare for that? Yeah. Uh, extreme uh, mental discipline, six days a week of weight training. Uh, yeah. Climbing the rope, doing the bar dips, and uh, uh, a real belief in the total apocalypse. Uh, here, I don't know, it's really hot. It's very Are those aluminum seats? <laughs> it's hot. It's going to be very hot. <laughs> what a concept! Try not to lean against that, that uh, metal. Okay. Do you, Do you like this hand wave or not? Two, one, two, 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 one, two, check, one, two, 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 two. Okay. Oh, two, one, two, 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 two. Do you guys have any, uh, any special game plan or anything about hot weather here? I mean, the whole idea of playing outside for us is a real foreign idea because we're a definite inside controlled environment, dark kind of band. And initially when we were 
asked to do this, so our reservations were trying to translate to a big venue and be outside in the daylight and not have the things that we're accustomed to. I don't know, it's like opening up on the moon if you really want to ask me. I mean, it's like we're 20 miles from anything that really could hear and stuff. Kind of makes me feel like I'm in Woodstock or something, the feel of this big field. Everybody feels joined almost. Like we were in line and we were like 25 cents short for a drink and they were like, hey, we're all one, here I have a quarter. So it's just everybody's a lot more friendly and stuff. And it's, a, it's a lot of different bands. It's not the same bands that you would see, you know, every day. It's an uh, alternative band, it's just nice. A lot of people are saying this is kind of the biggest tour of the, the summer, you know, there's a lot of big name bands. How are you guys doing? Could be. Isn't that great to be on the biggest tour of the summer? What makes it different? I mean, do you think, or what's good about this? It's probably the variety of the acts and the, the way it's been presented, I think, as sort of a gathering of the alternative tribe, if you will, or whatever. The monsters of alternative rock. I think it's a pretty cool idea to have a bunch of different styles of music go out. And um, it's the kind of thing that, you know, even if there was not one band that I wanted to see, I, as a consumer, I would go see it just because it would be fun. And it's rarely outdoor shows like this where you could have, potentially have a lot of fun. It seems like you know, a good idea. Who'd you come to see today? I just came because, you know, everybody, you know, wanted to see Rollins, Butthole Surfers, uh, Ice T. What's the best part about this festival so far today? So far, just rocking out with all these different types of people, you know? Everybody, different types of people coming and sitting around, hearing different bands they might not be exactly into, but just enjoying it, you know? Everybody kicking. I came to see Ice T and Jane's Addiction mostly. You know, Living Color is pretty cool. But and you ready for it so far? Yeah, actually, I am. Ice T was pretty good. I, I liked him. So. so, who did you come out to see today? Nine Inch Nails and Jane's Addiction. What do you like so much about them? What I like about them? Um, their beat, the way they sound. It brings a bunch of different groups together, like Ice T and all the all them together, and then yeah, all different cultures. Who's your favorite? Um, seriously. No! Jane's addiction. I want everybody to just, you know, meet each other and know each other, you know, like a big body of musicians that all know each other. Only good things can come of it. You know, whenever in history artists have gotten together like that, heavy things have come out of it, so it can't hurt. I think it's great they're putting all these bands together, you know. We just heard a little bit of Nine Inch Nails sound check. They sound really good. It's not pretty good. Our Ice T's band, I, I haven't heard them, but I heard that they're killing too, you know, so. I look forward to seeing Susie and the Banshees and everybody, Henry Rollins. Have you met any of the other bands yet? I've met a few members of the other bands. I've met Ice-T and I've met Vernon Reed and they're really great people, really cool. And so uh, I guess we can all become friends by the end of the tour. It should be great. I think everyone on this tour is uh, just going to have a good attitude. Everyone just wants to play, so there won't be any of that ego stuff. I, I, th I don't think. I have no idea. It'll be interesting to see that, see if like... Henry and Susie are like great fans by the, like the end of the tour or whatever, who knows. We just think it's great that there's such um, a diverse collection of bands. The audiences will, that would come to see us at one certain band will go see, will be seeing another type of band, whether they like it or not. I'm real positive, you know, I'm, I want to see everybody really just basically get together and have fun, you know, so. It might seem one way, but I'm like with this whole event. I hope, it, I hope this starts a lot of other you know, combine in a different musical format tours, you know. I would like to make, um, work more with the Lollapalooza, work on it, because it is, it is a really cool thing that's evolving here. It's like multimedia, which is what I like anyhow. So I would like to keep working with music, because it's one media, but I would like to, you know, bring the arts together, you know, just put things together, because, I mean, that's, that's the modern, predicament anyway. Everything is kind of becoming integrated. Human beings, you know. I mean, do you think that after this tour is over that you possibly may put another tour like this together and tour with Jane's Addiction? I mean, is it... I, I, won't, I wouldn't say it's with Jane's Addiction, but I don't really want to talk about that yet because it's not... This hasn't been done yet. You know what I mean? But I don't have plans for Jane's Addiction. If tonight's opening date is anything to go by, Lollapalooza could be the tour of the summer.